Hi, class. Today we're going to be playing with water and markers. Hmm, how's that gonna happen? We are going to be drawing onto a kitchen tissue. But any tissue at home will do. I just prefer the absorbent kind. Use washable markers for this activity because alcohol based markers and whiteboard markers do not seem to work for this one. Draw whatever you like onto that kitchen tissue. It is much preferable too if you use lots of different colors. Take a spray bottle containing water and then spray onto your drawing. Watch what happens. The markers are bleeding onto the kitchen tissue. Isn't that fascinating? Let's try one more time. This time, I'm going to be drawing different kinds of lines in different colors. And now let's spray. Oh, look at that! Isn't it so satisfying? Watching all those colors blend and bleed onto each other. I am having lots of fun doing this. Well, let's try a different activity using markers and water. I am using a ceramic plate and a dry erase marker or whiteboard marker. I am going to draw a flower. about this one. Let me just move the water around. I'm afraid my little experiment isn't working. So let me just throw the water and I'll be right back. Alright, let's water the flower one more time. <gasps> and look at that! My flower is lifting from the ceramic plate. <gasps> Isn't that amazing? Let me try one more time. Let's water those flowers again. <gasps> it would appear that the last flower I drew lifted quite easily from the ceramic plate. I suppose you need to immediately add water after you have drawn your picture before the marker completely dries. was fun, wasn't it? Now I have floating flowers on my ceramic plate. Show me your work in the classroom dojo. What can you do with markers and water? Have fun!